I'm on. Yes, my name is Huntington Shortcut Road, Crescent yes. City. Uh, I don't know what the hell that plane just dropped, but it dropped a bomb behind my house, and it blew up. Okay. It's All right. crazy. Okay, so you actually saw a plane drop something? No, I was in there watching TV, and I heard the plane. They, they come by just about every day, you know, dropping bombs over in the National Forest. Well, this one, they, they dropped behind my house. I don't see no flames at this point, but it was so close, it moved my trailer. I mean, the whole trailer shook. So they dropped a bomb or a plane crashed or something. I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's okay. crazy. Can I get your name? Okay. It's Dungeon Shortcut Road. Can I get your phone number, Mr. Okay. My God. Are you okay? That's Yeah, I'm okay. I about had a heart attack. I'm telling you, it shook the... My whole house and dust was flying in the house. It was crazy. It's like I thought they done got me. I, I just okay. knew it was gone. It's okay. close. So I hope there ain't nobody messed up behind me. I mean, okay. you know, right. that's we've crazy. Got, we've got multiple calls on it. we got people on the way. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Putnam County 911. This is Flagler with the yeah. Center. She's at yeah. Lake Avenue in Crescent City. Go ahead, ma'am. Yes, um, something just exploded. I don't know if it was somebody's propane tank, but now there's a gassy smell. Um, I literally thought something hit, a bomb hit the house. I mean, the whole house just okay. vibrated. I mean, so you're saying you could, you're saying you, Okay, yes, ma'am. You said you can smell gas now? S something smells wrong. It, it's, it's, it's like a gas smell, but it, it's, it's not a gas smell. I, I can't, I don't know how to explain it, but it just, you just know it's not the right kind of smell, and okay. it, what just, is, it literally. What is your address? Um, Lake Avenue. And what was your name? This is um. I'm a guest here, and um, they. We're all looking to see if, you know, maybe a neighbor's house blew up or something, but it was definitely some okay, sort of yes, explosion. What, what's your phone number? All right, well, we got law enforcement and the fire department out there to go check everything out and see what's going on. Oh, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Uh-huh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let me sure the line is recorded. Yes, ma'am. Have you got any calls about what just happened here in Pomona Park? Yeah, we were getting multiple calls. We got them on the way. Did you hear, like, a loud explosion sound? Yes, it's destroyed my friggin' house. Okay, what's your it address? It destroyed my house. <phone rings> County Road 308B. It literally has knocked everything off my walls. Okay, did you see anything? No, ma'am. I went outside and I can't see nothing, but I am literally, like, tripping right now because it has literally... When it comes, I'm thinking it could have been the planes that did it, but I don't know. But it's literally knocked everything off my walls. It has destroyed the inside of my house. Okay. All right, we've got them on the way. What's your name, ma'am? And your phone number? Okay, I've got everyone on the way. If you see anything different, call me back, okay? But they're on the way already, okay? Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Let me make sure it's all reported. Yes, ma'am. Uh, are you going to get the calls about a loud explosion over here in uh, near Pomona Park? Yes, sir. Have you seen anything, or did you just hear the loud explosions? Well, two things. It, it did it twice, the little explosion, and there was a jet. They were doing maneuvers, I think, over by the uh, Ocala. And about the time that happened, a jet actually was flying over. I don't think it was going fast enough to do a sonic boom, but it was one hell of a last. I could tell you, it scared me to, you know, I didn't know. Wasn't expecting it. Okay. All right. Well, we've got everyone on the way. I'm sorry. We've got everybody on the way uh, to check it out, see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can hear right. jets out there doing their maneuvers, but I've never had them do that before. You okay. Know, it, it's, it's almost, I mean, it was loud. <laughs> I thought somebody was shooting at me at first. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, we got them on the way. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Sheriff's office.
Yes, ma'am. Uh, I don't know if y'all had any more complaints. But yes, I we're getting yes. I, I know. Sorry, we, we, boom. yes, we've had many people call, so we are already on the way to check it out. Um, we haven't yes, had any any damage reported as of yet or anything like that. So I, I have I, I have major damage. They did what, what? It, it was right over so, the top of my house. So do you want to report the damage? Yes, I do. What is your address? <laughs> and I've tried to get a hold. I've tried to get a hold of somebody at Naval Air Station Jacks, but right, we're we're, we're going to take until Monday. Yeah, then we're going to take care of it, sir. What is your address? Okay, <laughs> County Road 308B. And what is your name? Well, it, if that's okay with y'all. Well, okay, how, how do I spell, spell that? What is your phone number? Okay. And what kind of damage did you have? <laughs> I had a 50 by 75 metal building with lighting and the whole nine yards, and it blew fluorescent light fixtures off of the walls, off of the ceiling, blew stuff off of my work benches. I mean, there's glass everywhere. <laughs> I haven't been inside the house yet, but... Uh, okay, I've got, I'm going to have them come out. If you'll give us just a few minutes just to... Because we are receiving, I can't even tell you how many calls we've got, but we are definitely going to send law enforcement to your home to evaluate that as well. Okay. All right. Well, i got an electric gate, but I'll go down and open it up and lock it open. Yeah, just to give us a little bit to get to, but we will get somebody out there. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Th thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. My mom wants to address of your emergency. Yes, I was calling because I don't know what's going on in this Pomona area on our street. Is it about the but jets? Yes, and my windows okay, are busted your, out. Your, okay, your windows are busted out. Is your address Orange Street? Yes. Okay, and what's your name? Okay. And you're in Satsuma, am I correct? No, in Pomona Park. Okay, I'm sorry. We got multiple. Orange Tree? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, I got that. And what was your name? I apologize. Mm -hmm. And is it a good number you're calling from? Yes. All right. And is any other property damaged? Um. Yeah, my pictures fell off the wall. My light pictures and my... Hold on, let me go inside. The skirting around the mobile home, I don't even know if the mobile home is even stable no more, but the skirting is all pushed out. What else, though? My ki kitchen light, my um, fire alarm thing popped out. Um, a piece of the house inside the roof, I guess the wall piece up in the ceiling, it done popped down. Light fixtures in the kitchen popped off on the floor. One of my lights not turned on no more. It's, I, I, it's just, yeah. Okay, I completely understand. I got your name, your number, and your address. We're going to get somebody out there to make a report for you, just so you know there's going to be a time delay due to all the property damage that's occurred from this. But you okay. are next on our list, so we're going to get somebody out there for you. If anything changes, we'll call you back, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bye. Hey, how you doing? Hey, listen, I live in Crescent City. There was an explosion down here a little while ago. Do you guys hear anything about that? We had a couple of jets flying very low to the ground. Yeah, they must have been really low to the ground because it about knocked the trail right off the foundation when it went by. And we were just trying to figure out what that uh, if it was a bomb or what happened. So, so we were just kind of curious. Did it sound like an actual explosion or maybe just the jets going by it? Really well, high speed. when it came through, it was like it was a sonic boom and it was so low that it made the house, the trailer, breathe in and breathe out. 
and the whole trailer felt like it jumped off the foundation. That's how, uh, okay, how loud is your it was. Prop, is your property damaged at all, your trailer? Did any windows bust or anything? No, no, no. My windows were open, but it, when I was putting my pants on to get out of bed, I, I almost fell down. I mean, it was really incredible. I mean, yeah, I don't know what is. they were doing. I mean, that low, but it was intense. Mm-hmm. We're we're gonna figure it out. It's it's the jets flying. Just so yeah. Yes, I just. It was I right off the of Lake Crescent on Old Highway 17, where yes, it's on it, yes. uh, that were that powerful. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. We got multiple All calls right. about that. I, I just thought I would sure. call see if you guys knew anything because everybody's worried. Yes, sir. We're doing everything we can. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye. 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 Cheers, office. Uh, yes, ma'am. This is the non-emergency number, right, for Pulaski? That's, yeah, that's right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, I don't know if you've had any complaints that have been called in on some type of um, very severe boom, like a bomb. Yes, ma'am. Um, We've had lots of calls on it. It's going to be the uh, military. It's going to be the Navy doing some maneuvers with some aircraft. Um, uh-huh. So that, that is, that's what's going through them. Okay. Do you know what what they done? I mean, what happened? It's they broke the sound barrier. That's what happened. They came low they and they broke the, the sound barrier, which caused that loud boom. So they broke the sound barrier. Okay. Um, have you had uh, any complaints as far as uh, some like basically some damage at home? We have. Because so we um. We've been told uh, by the, to refer you guys to the Naval Affairs Office if you've had damage. There's a phone number you can call to report it. Okay, I need to call and report it. I have a my house is here in uh, Lake Como, and it literally uh, took the attic door in the ceiling and shot the door up in the ceiling. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I haven't been in the house yet because neighbors, of course, have been, you know, walking over. They had, uh, they're in a double wide across from me, and they had their underpinning um, to come off of the side. They what, what um, what street are you on? We're on Huntington Shortcut. Or I'm okay. on. So we've had several calls. Uh, so. I'm going to give you, whenever you're ready, I'll give you the phone number to call okay. and make a complaint with the Naval Air Affairs about that. Um, okay, let me get that, because he told me, he said, you need he said you need to go inside and check the house. I mean, I've got sheetrock in the garage that just, like, fell out of ceiling lights, you know. Um, that's not a big deal. That's just a cleanup, but, uh, I mean, it scared us to death. I was just, I've got a painter here, and... The poor guy ran to his car. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what's going on. But, uh, oh, okay, goodness. go ahead. It is okay. uh, 904. Okay. 542. Okay. 554. Five, five, okay, 5588. Five, eight. Eight, eight. Okay. And if I could I've get just for. Four. Yes, ma'am. Let me get you on speaker for about that. I've got 904-542-5588. That is correct. And just for our record, um, I know you're calling the Naval Air Force, but I just want to log this in case something comes back later. What is your name? Uh, What's your phone number? Phone number is... Okay, so I'm do- just document that as a record that we spoke and that we gave you the phone number for Naval Affairs just so there's something on file, okay? Okay, Naval Affairs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the neighbors over here know that um, they can also call if they want to call. And, you know, but they're, they're still... They have... He said they have clocks that fell off the wall that, you know, I'm like, whoo. That's okay. what we're hearing, uh, a lot of that. You know, yeah, they're in, a, they're in a double wide. I'm in a brick house. Not that it's any better, but uh, like I said, it, it took the uh, 
attic door and shot the attic door up into the attic. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So it was pretty scary. But we thought, uh. the neighbor honestly thought that he thought that they do, like, uh, practice bombs, and he thought maybe they had dropped a bomb. No, they don't do that. They uh, anything like that, there's an area that they own that there's a, like 100 acres or more that they do those where it's not, there's nobody around where it can't harm anybody. They never do any kind of practice stuff over civilians, but they do fly a pattern. So uh, they do have different times and different days that they fly for practice and for other things that they're doing. Uh, they call it maneuvers. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes stuff like this happens, but apparently this is more than what I've heard. So we are, we are giving you that phone number so you can make that um, report okay. with them. Okay. Well, I thank you so much. And I'll, like I said, I'll let my neighbors know because, of course, everybody came running out, you know. Oh, absolutely. We understand. I, I, I would be doing the same thing. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, it was scary. It was, honestly, it was pretty scary. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. I, I'm sorry you guys went through that. Okay. Well, thank you so much, and I will give them a call. Thank you, dear. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Stop it. Hi. Uh, is this the Putnam County Sheriff's Office? It is. Good. My name is... I'm going to drive from Mona Park. Um, yes, sir. I don't know who to call, so I'm going to start with you. But this morning, oh, a while back, maybe an hour or so ago, we had a very bad, I guess, sonic booms, two of them right in a row. So if you have any contacts with the Navy or the Air Force, whoever it was, they've been very busy this week. Yesterday they were, looked like they were doing the dog fighting just southwest of my location over towards Lake George. But this morning they were flying very low over Mach 1, I'm sure, probably Mach yes. 1, 6. In that so Mr. We already had numerous calls on it, and we have verified that's what it was. Um, was there any damage to your property? Well, not to mine, but to my in-laws over there on uh, Tan Tangerine Avenue, yes. They've, they've okay. had windows blown out over there. So we've had several reports um, of that as well. So we've been given a phone number to have anybody with damage to call. This is for Naval Affairs. Okay. And I can give you that phone number whenever you're ready. Oh, let me get a pencil. Because they're going to be having to replace these windows. Okay. Ready when you are. It's 904-542-5420. Okay. Yes, sir. 5588. Okay. 5588. Five, eight, eight. And that's the Office of? Naval Affairs. Naval Affairs. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate it. I, know, I figured you guys were inundated with a bunch of calls, but I just, there, there comes a point <laughs> where some of these hot rods and these big fan plastic machines are going to have to understand they can train about 30 miles east of us over water and not have a problem. Okay. Anyway, yes. thank you. You're welcome, sir. Okay, have a good day. You too, sir.